Hey everybody, Mananan here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Conclave. Last episode, I managed to seize a city from Gwynedd. They then attacked me, which invalidated the truce that I had with them. So I immediately beat them, and then started my own war, because why not? Why, why hold back? Now, this episode will probably, if everything goes to plan, be the final episode in the in the Kingdom of Man series. Um, making swear not to do it again. And after that, I have something in mind. And I think I'll be also ending the Shattered World series as well for now. Um, and I will be putting that file somewhere for people to download and um, play if they want. I'll also export it into EU4 format, so... If you want to see, if you want to play that yourself in EU4, see what the world's like, you are more than welcome to. But anyway, for this, I am going to declare, I'm going to claim that. Lovely stuff. And then the plan is, because obviously I don't want to have too many powerful vassals, or, or actually any at all. He's had a child. This is a bit annoying. So I'm going to kill you. I'm going to try and kill him, because he's apparently hated. And I'm not entirely sure why, but he is. Um, we're now going to create the Duchy of Gwynedd. Which will give me prestige and cost me money. But for me to form the Dutch, the kingdom of K underscore Din underscore 328, which is apparently a glitch with my system and I, there is a way of fixing it, but I just haven't gone around to it. I need... Oh no! Apparently... That is actually a an actual thing. I was going to form a, a custom kingdom. Which I might still do if I get the prestige, but either way, I don't have enough of a resource to do one of them. I If I don't have enough piety to form the kingdom, if you have a look, uh, it requires 200 piety, and also, I've got the gold now. Um, which I don't have, I'm 70 off, so I'm actually going to change my thing to theology to increase the chances of me actually getting that. And, um, if I wanted to do a custom kingdom, I need prestige, which I don't have yet. And I could get that by conquering and making people my tributes, but that's just some money down the dr money down the drain. I wanna, I just wanna make money. I'm a merchant republic. So um, as I was saying before, what the? Hell? Where does my over merchant? Where does my trade post go? I don't know. It's gone. I don't like it. Well, we're gonna put, we're gonna get one in Galloway anyway. Oh, it's by opinion, isn't it? Of what people think of me. Ah well. Well, I have, I have a great opinion of myself, so I'm going to give myself 90... I'm going to cost, charge myself 90 coins to make that. The Cocos Spiritus are going well. This is lovely. But yes, in terms of what I intend my next series is to be, I think I am going to st keep one as Crusader Kings. And I don't think I'll go with a mod for now. I've got something that I'd quite like to do. And I originally... I have done it on the channel before, but... Literally a good few months before I started doing this properly. Um, and it sort of... I I stopped it very soon. I really... it I was an idiot. And I'll probably explain exactly what I did wrong when I when I started. Um, I'll also do slightly different and have some objectives. But also, on top of that... Why do I have a random Greek, Welsh, Dynasty, Orthodox in my court? How has this happened? Oh, it's him, my rival. Um... How is how is she? Why are you so different? One of these is not like the other. Okay, well you can be um, you can look at faith because I don't know. Um, but on top of a Crusader Kings two series, I'm going to I think do Medieval two because a lot of people have asked for it, and I mean a lot of people and repeatedly, and it is such a good game, and I have managed to get Stainless Steel six point four working rather than. What I was on last time, which was 6.3, which has a famous glitch where it won't work after 51 turns, I think. And there's only, there's like a file you can download to fix it, but nowhere still hosts it because it's an old version of the mod. So I had to cancel the last series because of that, which is unfortunate, because that was going really well. I was playing as a Byzantine Empire, and I'd just taken Rome back from the Papacy. So it was looking pretty good, and then it just didn't work. So um, we're going to do it again. I'm not entirely sure what faction... So, if people want to make any suggestions, it's the Stainless Steel 6.4 mod, so there's a much larger variety than the vanilla game. Um, for example, there's not just two orthodox factions, there's not just Russia and Byzantium. There is, obviously, Byzantium, uh, Kiev, 
Novgorod, and I think there's one more. Might be getting confused somewhere else. Oh, he became Midas Touch. That's amazing. That is fantastic. He's unfortunately got double chin, but what can you do? Um, so, basically, I think that's the plan. Unless I get a really good idea that makes me override that, take that as sort of the the, the teaser, in a way. Um, I will gain piety. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. You're not dead yet. Why are you not dead? You're literally one years old. Everyone knows I'm trying to kill him. Just walk in there with a sword and stab him. Just put him out of his misery. He's ginger. He doesn't have he doesn't have much of a life left. That's so mean against gingers. I'm so sorry. But unfortunately, he's Welsh. So that's another thing that's got a problem with. And again, I, I'm, I'm very sorry to the Welsh. But anyway, um, something I noticed before I began recording was that um, the Pope is no longer in Rome. And considering there's two of them, our moral authority is pretty much in the toilet. So, um... Oh, the pi the uh, it went up quite a lot then because of his piety. But basically, this random Germanic Saxon with an amazing coat of arms, that he's obviously a historical dynasty, they've gone ahead and just invaded Rome. And then they took on Lombardy to finish off Orvieto. So now they are a fairly strong... I mean, most of that's events born, to be fair. But considering the neighbor is only 4,000, Byzantium might get involved, but it's unlikely. They are... In the middle of a coalition, so if they did attack, it would be a bad idea. Um, but I can definitely see them continue to expand. And that would be quite cool to see. But we won't be able to see it because that will be the only thing. Why is Saxony back? Saxony's split between the, the Premislids. Because obviously um, Saxony's got all that, Bohemia's there. Brunswick is now independent somehow, I'm not entirely sure how, but I'm sure it was a good reason. A festival nobody told me, I became gregarious. How old am I? 36? Why do I look so withered? I look like a, a pear that's been left out in the sun. What's gone wrong? I was so young, and now I'm not. Indeed it is so. I should ponder this more deeply. I have enough now to form the kingdom. Look at that. And it is white and a weird thing. So we're going to change this to its proper name of man. And put it the wrong way around, apparently. And the isles... And then Manx. There we go. So, the Serene Republic of Manly Isles. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that a lovely uh, Triskelion there? Which is the symbol that is obviously the symbol of the Isle of Man. Symbol of Manan as well, which is why it is now my profile picture, if anyone has noticed. Because um, I, I feel like that. I, it, I was trying to think of ways I could... Sh like, something that was connected to Mananin. Thinking, oh, maybe there's Celtic runes or something, and I can use them. And then thought, he turns into a Triskelion. And chases people down a hill. Why don't I make that my symbol? So I did. And now I'm... Uh, it's only a short couple of steps until I end up actually believing and trying to become the next coming of Mananin. But I think that's unlikely. But anyway. We have met the objective for this playthrough. And I think we're actually going to make sure that my son turns out to be heir just in case. I have no more money. I've given them all the money I have. So when we get a bit more, more will go in. Um, in fact, we're going to take all that out. Just in case I suddenly die and it, go it goes to waste. Like so! Oh my god, as if I predicted that! Wow. So, um, that happened. So I'm no longer the Prince Mayor. But I am now a, a, a patrician. Which is nice to see. And I still control a god load of land. I, control I have more troops than my, my, my liege. So if I wanted to, I mean, why can I, oh no, will I still be his, yes, I will, because I am the, uh, his, the Duke of Gwynedd, so that's fine. Okay, fair enough. So, um, as, as if I, that was very lucky. I never have that sort of luck, but whatever, we're going to make it so I'm really good at business, I think. You want what? Invite to plot? He wants me to kill him. Um, okay, I'll help you. Why not, I suppose. Um, who's the heir? Is it? No, it's not me. My respect is quite low because I'm only I'm only quite young. Uh, because the merch revolver mechanics, they favour the older generation. Not the older generation, but you know. Someone's age affects their actual respect as it is. 
He wants to become... I should be an advisor. Too right I should be an advisor. Right, let's have a look. I want to become... I want to build a war chest. That's a good idea. And I want to get married to the Prince Mayor's daughter. I lose some prestige, apparently. Well, that's fine. I don't need any more prestige. I've done what I needed to do. And uh, I need to appoint my own council here because apparently I don't have one. Everyone has left me. All my father's courtiers have gone and I'm left alone. Now, uh, where is the other Pope? Pope and Rhymes. Where is Rhymes? There. Quite, like, literally one of the larger counties in France, and I completely missed it. So you are going to go and improve religious relations with the Pope. One of the Popes. The Pope I'm deciding I'm going to follow. Um, he's got a strong claim on the papacy, and he will continue to have one until Frankia decides to get involved. Literally, they have a a heretical, blasphemous, not well, non-blasphemous way out here. They don't need to usurp a Pope. They can go and throw and turf some Germanic barbarians out of the Holy City. And stick their own one in charge. And they'd be fine. In fact, I don't know what would even happen. Because they don't need... They don't attack the papacy. He's got a claim on the papacy. But it doesn't mean... I suppose they'll have the option to restore the Pope to Rome. Which... I don't know whether it would specify their Pope or someone else's Pope. I don't know. We're going to make you designated heir and you designated region. Lovely stuff. Not going to extort subjects because I don't need to. Because I control a lot of... Trade trade posts, so I don't need them. Um, I could start expect like build a war chest is done, fantastic. Um, yeah, I want to become. I don't want to acquire a title because I'm not going to get one. I'm going to try and become a paragon of virtue. I think. Who are you currently attacking? Scottish Cathar revolt occupied by the. Okay, so there's literally an island of heretics. That's Heretic Island. I've decided. Now, can I build a trade post there? No, why not? Not of a trade post limit. Ah, okay. So if I was to start expanding and try and take all the isles, so up to Iceland um, and the Hebrides, well, no, I've got the Hebrides, but the Fairy Islands and... Um, like, they've... This collection of islands, if you've, if, if you've ever looked at this, I think it's this one, or it might be them, um, on Google Maps, they're incredible. They're, it's like an atoll, and people live on them, and they're, they are... I, I, I live in an island, but it's a fairly big island, and everything's fairly close together, but I was looking at a map for it, and there's there's towns on different places, and people have to commute by boat for school and work, and it's just... It's, it's bizarre. And obviously, I've met someone up in the Shetlands before. Not Shetlands. I keep getting confused with Shetlands. Um, or is it the Shetlands? I don't know. Um, up here, up somewhere north and cold, and he was telling me how when it snows, it's literally the height of like a single story of the house. That's how that's how high the snow can get, which I think is just bizarre. And mankind's clearly not meant to live there, like Australia. Everything in Australia is trying to kill you, and yet people still insist on on living there. I just, I I intend to live for quite a while, so I'm not going to go somewhere where there's a very high chance of me dying. It's not nice. I I like I like sun. I like it being warm. I don't like it that much. Okay, we've allowed this guy to still land. I didn't vote, though. They didn't give me an option. Or maybe they did, and I was too busy ranting about Australia to notice. Um, oh, no, he wants me to be a commander. Am I any good? No, I'm terrible. I'll decline that. Thank you very much. Are we in a war? We are in a war. He wants to make us a tribute. Are you kidding? That's just not going to do, mate. If he gets made a tribute, I will have to have him killed, because that's just... Very disappointing for everyone involved, and just will not be will not be tolerated. So yes, I am going to basically sit here and do nothing, unless I want to see his posts from someone else, like you. Declare war, seize a trade post. Going against the will of the council. Okay. Um, wh who's got the most valuable? Trade post. Innsman or me. Um, then me. Lancaster. Lancaster's the one to attack. Apparently. But he is the... Ah, uh, no, that's the thing. I can't because it's my uh, doge's 
family. So that would be bad. So instead I'm going to go for this guy, I think. Going against the will of the council will be considered tyranny. Well, I don't have any vassals to worry about, so I don't really care. So we're going to take Ulaid, or Ulster. But how many troops do you have? None. So I'm going to, yeah, do that. Where's the most... Um, we're going to go Dublin. Dublin's probably the best one to go for. And my council's disappointed. That's that's unfortunate. I could offer a donation to my liege, but I'm not going to because I'm at peace. I'm not at peace and neither is he. So I physically can't. Uh, we're going to raise up vast levies. Those 40 are going to have to sit down there, I'm afraid, because the others are nowhere near. We're going to start. We're going to get our troops in man. Are they coming? Are they coming? They're coming, they're coming. They really are bad words. I don't know words anymore. I've forgotten one. So we're going to raise up my... Why do I have so many ships? ships? We're going to hopefully get here in time. Oh no, they're not going to... They're just sieging down trade posts. That's fine. So we're going to get everyone on board. That ship can then go out to the Irish Sea. This lot can then join the fleet. Head over there. Combine. And go to war. Essentially. Who is... Why are you... No, I'm... Okay. So they're in a conquest. But they're not against my trade post. So that's fine. We're not going to get conflicted here. I never lie. Or he never lies. Someone never lies. Well, either way, I'm going to occupy this trade post. And that'll be a nice cheeky way of getting a load of money. Because it's one way of getting... More... Uh, more trade posts when you're limited. Because it's it scales with your male member... Male adult family, I think. Sorry, what? I, was, I, I, I didn't say anything because I wanted to listen to that noise because I've never heard it before. Uh, I have three months to end my conflict and then we'll end in a white piece, I remember from patch notes. So we are going to take out this army. How do I win this? Because I might get in ticking war score. Yes, I think. Galloway, we're going to chase him. In fact, we're not going to... Well, no. So, my liege has enforced realm peace, which is a bit irritating. But, two months. If you're on the council, you can call in a favour from for, to prevent it from being enforced. Am I on the council? I'm pretty sure I am. My liege council. There I am. So, where's my liege? Hello. By favour. No conflicting interests. Hmm. I can't offer a donation to my liege. Yeah, so, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, manipulate my liege to uh, stop this ending. But we're going to try and win it anyway. Because I've got one month. 100% war score. Lovely stuff. That was very close. So we're going to seize that. Lovely stuff. And get rid of those levies. Get rid of these ships because they are costing me an arm and a leg. Goodbye. So we're currently on four of three. Um, he's randomly got one down in Ren. Don't know why. Fair enough, whatever. Um, and then we're, we're not going to be able to do anything now because of Realm Peace. Oh, okay. That was weird. It, the, there wasn't a, a filler then. It was just text. Council of uh, for another 59 months. So another five years. No war in the Realm for five years. How boring. That's fine, though. We'll make do. Um, by maybe making this guy a tribute. Except we can't because my council will get pissed off at me. But I will anyway because I don't really care. I can seize the city of Penrith. Um, or even against Dublin. Who are you? Conquest of Mead. Ah, so it's not... Wait, no, it is. Well, we're going to get involved anyway. Can we not? Oh, he's defending versus... Pagans. Of course. That's what that's. Yes. Oh, the Yinglings. The, uh, the Norwegian royal house, which is definitely not in existence right now because Svityard is pretty strong and looks like it's not going to be falling over anytime soon. It's a, I'd be interested to see if they, if, they, if they would end up reforming, but that's unfortunately not what this series is going to allow because this is going to be the end of the episode and the end of the series. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this um, introduction to Conclave. Uh, especially if you've learnt alongside me, because this is just... It's its quite a big change. 
Um, there's a patch coming out soon which will reduce the annoyingness of infamy, I suppose, is a good way of putting it. Um, well, no, it's a terrible way of putting it, but whatever. So there will be some changes, but overall, I think it's it's pretty good. It's it's changed a lot of the mechanics that I've sort of taken for granted after God knows how many years, how many, not how many, well, I suppose years, how many hours, hundreds of hours, possibly even over a thousand, um, I've played this game. Like, education. That hasn't really changed since this game started. And giving councils a lot more power, I could see that becoming quite making it more fun to play as a vassal. Maybe not so much as a as a independent ruler yourself, but there are ways around it and you it, it's obviously if you're gonna rule as a, as an absolute ruler, you're gonna have trouble trying to keep everyone in line. Um which I think it makes more sense. It's no no one was an absolute ruler. Even the bloody um the Sun King, like in the early modern era, the French king, I think it was Louis the Louis the something, there was lots of Louis. Um, he was an absolute monarch, but it was mainly, it wasn't as simple as him saying, I want to do this, and then it happened. It was it was pretty much like that, but there was some difficulty, and he did have to play politics at court. So, especially back in this time, when centralised states weren't a thing, it, I think it makes a lot of sense, historically. Gameplay-wise, it, it needs some polishing, but they are on the, they are doing that at the moment, and Kazaria is just still existing and just blobbing everywhere, and... The step is not a very nice place to be right now. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next series.